you know, I look at the HBCU Legacy Bowl in New Orleans, and it was an opportunity for HBCU football players from around the country to get a chance to show their talent and show why they want to play on the next level and do they have the talent to play on the next level. It was Team Gaither versus Team Robinson. Team Gaither wins 10-6 to 6 in the third annual All-State HBCU Legacy Bowl. And I think you got to look at Davis Richard. We talked about him last week. He was a guy that I thought if on the offensive side, if there was going to be a prospect that can get that opportunity on the, in the NFL, it will be him, North Carolina Central graduate. And then he marched his team down the field on a five-play, 76-yard touchdown drive, completing both his pass attempts for 52 yards before rushing for a four-yard touchdown, in which he was also named the game MVP. The unfortunate part, he was injured in this ball game, had to be carted off, and I hate him. But then Team Gaither followed up after that touchdown drive with a stop on defense before putting together another long drive, 17 plays, Scotty 64 yards, before having to kick a 29-yard field goal, giving them a 10-0 lead in this ball game. And Team Robinson finally got on the board when wide receiver Landon Rash from Grambling State caught a pass from Jeremy Musa, fam, you guy, and found his way in the end zone for a 28-yard touchdown. Uh, Zarion Hayes, defensive lineman for D Team Robinson, from Alabama a and How about a and them Bulldogs? I, I know I give y'all a hard time, but he was named the defensive MVP player, MVP player of the game because guess what? He had four sacks. You didn't, once again, when you talk about you want offense, when you want excitement, the first year I went, this game don't give you excitement. That's fair. Was you excited at any point in this game? No, it was, it was, I, well, I was in the fourth quarter. Like the third, the three minute mark, I was pretty because I, I I like those I like those like make those last minute drives and put a drive together to win the game. But you know they had Musa in, so you know Musa with no Willie. It was Musa with no Willie. So yeah. And for me, when I look at this game, it go back to what we talked about last week, and I saw what you put up about Coach uh, Trey Oliver talking about. Them, he called them dumbass. Coaches. Oh yeah, I, I can put it up there for you. Them, them dumbass coaches. <laughs> I'll let you read it out loud for the people who need the basketball. I certainly will. Uh, this was a this was a tweet put it out a couple of days ago by Trey Oliver. I promise he would not have played if I knew that those dumbass coaches were going to run him. He should have never have left the pocket. You want to run? You want to run? Hand it off those all American backs. Make it make sense talked about it last week and i think didn't it just show his ugly head in this ball game on it did it surely did this is why i'm asking for if we're going to move forward with this game let's bring guys from the nfl level down doesn't have to be the brightest and the best head coaches but there are plenty of guys that are around in the nfl that can come down to this level can call a ball game compared to what they're looking for out of a guy Specifically, if there's a certain guy that people feel can have that opportunity to make that step to the next level, they'll know what plays and what situations to put him in to get the best of what they're looking for. Either that guy gives them what they're looking for or he does not give them what they're looking for. HBCU coaches, I'm not knocking you. You know what you know. But at the same time, let this be an opportunity to be a learning moment for you as well to learn from the guys. So you can then take something back to your program. And as you start molding up the next generation of guys that's going to play in the Legacy Bowl throughout the season, you're coaching them up and teaching them, hey, if you're trying to get to the next level, these are the things we learn. These are the things we're going to teach you. Now let's culminate that so we can make the product at the Legacy Bowl just that much better.